Hey, Casey. How you doing, Tom? Good. Thanks for getting back to my email. Oh, Thank my you. pleasure. Hey. Say hi to Nathan. Recognize you from the other episodes. Yeah. So, uh, so tell us about this front door. I know you wrote us and said it was a relatively new door. It is. Yeah. We have a splintery house, and the stairs going up is pretty much where we're going every time we come in. But coming in, it's not that difficult. But going out of the house it makes it really tricky when you're carrying kids and everything else to, to get in and out of the house. And I was wondering if there's any way to to change the swing direction so it opens. It makes it a little bit easier to get in All right, out. so you want the door to have the handle here and swing in that way. Yeah. Well, you know, that kind of makes more possible. sense. Well, what do you think? Take a look. Well, it looks like a nice light fiberglass door. I Same agree. on both sides. We could flip the, flip the hinges, flip the hardware right around. We don't have to cut new stuff in. Right. That would be a big job if we had to do that. How no, about a bevel? No bevel on the edge. That's it looks good. Looks pretty square. So we'll take the hinges and mortise them in on this side. Yeah. And then we'll dutch them in with the old strike plate and deadbolt work. Exactly, and then drill holes on the other side for those. Okay. And now on the bottom of the door, we see this weather strip. Actually, you can see the bigger part of the weather strip and that bulb that's hanged down yep. goes against this face of the threshold. I okay. think if you just take that off and turn it around and attach it to the bottom of the door, you'd be in good shape. All right. I got to say, this is a pretty easy project, and I think you can handle it yourself. Yeah, it looks like a pretty easy fix. All right. Well, if you've got any questions or problems, give me a call. Right. Casey, you're in good hands. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. All right. Let's pull the pins and get this thing started. Okay. All right, take it towards you, roll it back. Nice. Now we need to unscrew the hinges, flip them over, and since the holes won't line up, we're gonna fill those and drill new ones. All right, let's flip this over and go after the hardware. Now we need to reverse the striker so the bevel goes towards the jam side. Right, you want to hold a little pressure on the back here? Sure. Perfect. Now let's do the deadbolt. So the deadbolt's square, so we, we don't need to flip that over. All we need to do is reverse the keyed side, put that to our new outside. While we have the door down, we should change the direction of the sweep. And now we're ready to get started on the jam. As you remember, your door used to swing in to the right, and now we're gonna swing in to the left. We wanna transfer our layout from the left to the right, and how we wanna do that is from the top down. To the top of the hinge to the bottom for each one, and transfer those marks over. Is that you're gonna transfer the strike plate as well? I'm gonna hold off on transferring these marks right now. I wanna get the door swinging and make sure it's exactly where it's gonna line up when it shuts. Now I just wanna make sure that I have the right width for the hinge. Now we can make our patch. I'll start by squaring off the old hinge mortises with a chisel.
All right, on these little gaps, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. When I sand it, that powder will work its way into it and make kind of like a little putty, blend it right in. Now I want to hit these Dutchmen with a little bit of primer. So the hinge has a little bit of a radius to it, so I'm going to trace that profile, drill that out, and clean up the rest. All right, let's move this thing inside. Yeah. Tip it up. Tap down a little bit. Right there. All right, pull out just a little bit. Let's close the door and let's check the reveal around the sides, see how it looks. It looks pretty good across the top. How does it look down the side? Looks pretty level. All right, great. All right, one last thing to do. We got to attach the deadbolt and the strike plate for the knob. So one little trick I like to do to help center for the strike plate is I put a little graphite right on the end. And when you close it, that'll rub right against the jam. Open it up. You'll see the graphite's left behind. Right so now there. we'll just find the center and drill our hole. Let's see how it latches. Looks, looks pretty good, huh? Nice and tight. Nice, yeah. All right, so the last thing is the deadbolt. Same little trick. We're going to open it up. Put a little graphite on the end of it, just around the edges. All right, Casey, you're all set. Give it a try. All right, let's see how we did. Open right to the stairs. That's great. Coming down. Perfect. No more dancing around the door. It's great. It's the little details like this that a lot of people overlook and it'll make your life a lot easier. It will. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your time. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.